Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter. Just a quick impromptu video today. I'm out here at the range, got a lot of stuff that I need to do today and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it done because it's just so windy. I have the uh, Geisley URGI that I'm still working on. Uh, I've got the Diamondback DBX 7.5. I've got uh, an upper from Radical, all sorts of stuff that I need to do, but it's so windy the tripod just keeps getting blown over. So I, I thought I would make a quick video on my cell phone today and just talk to you guys about something that I've been thinking about. So, you know, it's what's going on right now is absolutely insane right i'm sure a lot of you guys are probably sick of watching the news you're sick of turning on the tv and seeing absolutely nothing you know nothing but that coverage and it, it starts to wear on you after a while but i started thinking you know what what does this mean this everything that's going on what does it mean for the inventory that we're seeing at our ffl so you guys remember back in march you know things started to disappear right it's just you know people were panicking things started disappearing from the shelf mid-march late march you started going into your ffl and there was nothing there uh, everything was just gone i mean the second that it would show up somebody would pick it up or they'd pick up three or four of them just because they could and uh we thought okay well it's only gonna last for a couple weeks you know lockdowns and stuff that continued on for months at a time people started just going and getting more and more and you know six months passes and there's still lockdowns across the country and so we're not seeing that inventory return right but there were people out there that we're hopeful that if Trump won, that after that time, maybe it would start to relax a little bit, people would stop panicking so much, and we would start to see inventory come back on the shelves. You know, So when you went into your FFL, it would look like it did before. Well, that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Um, I know that there are still some lawsuits that are out there, there's still some recounts that are out there. Uh, there's still a chance that this could be reversed, but it's a small chance. So. You know, assuming that if it stays the way it is right now and we end up with a, you know, Biden-Harris administration for the next four years, uh, in my own personal opinion, that does not bode well for inventory. Uh, I mean, if you're going to be going to your local FFL and, you know, expecting to see anything on the shelves anytime soon, I just don't think it's going to happen. You know, I just, here's the thing. Every election year we go through this, every single time. So, you know, we went back uh, in 2016, we went through this, you know, here's 2020, we're going through this. And then the next election year is gonna be 2024. So we know that we're gonna go through this again in 2024. That leaves us a three year gap in between, which is not a bunch of time. And I can tell you right now that with a Biden-Harris administration, the panicking's not going to stop this entire time because you're talking about two people who have absolutely no respect for the second amendment they have no respect for the constitution whatsoever but especially the second amendment i mean they've actively talked about what they were going to do to basically subvert the second amendment and try and take away our rights so um you know we know that that's not a good deal and i lived in california when kamala harris was uh uh, the uh, attorney general for the state and you guys know all the different stuff that's happened out there Well, she was behind a lot of it She was responsible for a lot of what you're seeing in California right now that people are still dealing with You know and she signed off on all of it said that it was good to go said that it was legal pushed it through and uh, After you know the dozens and dozens of lawsuits that were filed against it You know she pushed back saying that it was 100% constitutional the things she did in California. So we know that she is, I mean, if there's different levels of not liking the Second Amendment, she's like at the top. You know, Biden, he's pretty close, but she's she's about as bad as you can get. Like, imagine if Dianne Feinstein was the vice president. It's kind of what you're getting. You're getting just a different version of Dianne Feinstein as vice president. And so I think that, uh, you know, a lot of people knowing that, uh, that's, you know, they're going to, that's, I, don't, I just think they're going to go back to the store and just keep buying whatever pops up, whatever they can find. They're going to continue to buy it. And I think we're going to be seeing a shortage for a significant amount of time. You know, I, I'm curious to know your opinion on this. If you think it's going to ease up, you know, come January, if you think it's going to get worse, if you think it's, you know, what, what do you think is going to happen here? My own personal opinion is uh, we're going to be SOL for quite a while. It's going to be difficult to find things. There's really going to be really going to be tough. You know, the one thing that really surprises me here is that you guys remember how we were all talking about how it bodes well for the election that all of these new owners out there, you know, all these new 4473s, all these background checks that were filed for uh, people that have never purchased one before. And then all the, the Democrats that were out there that are now buying them, maybe, you know, some of them will flip to our side and understand that, you know, there's a need for the Second Amendment. Um, what happened to that? Because here's what I don't get. If 
a lot of those people that were on the left or new owners bought ARs, they essentially voted to have them taken away, which doesn't make sense to me. I wouldn't buy a new truck or a new car and then vote for somebody who only believes in bicycles and wants to take my car away. It just, that doesn't make sense. I'd be like, I just bought this car. I like my car. I don't want to vote for somebody who wants me to walk all of a sudden. I just spent $30,000 on my car. <laughs> the, it just, it, it boggles my mind for real. It, it, I do not understand the thought process. You know, I, I sit here and I try and think about both sides and you know, where people might be coming from. And when it comes to people that are on the left, I can't, I can't figure it out. I can't put my thumb on it. I don't understand the thought process that's there other than I hate the big orange guy that's in the office now. And so I'll vote for anything. That's it. That's the only thing that I can fathom. It, it's gotta be that. So anyway, you know, I, I'm just, I'm curious to hear your thoughts about the shortage, whether or not we'll see anything start coming back on the shelves soon. We saw a little bit of a spurt, at least at my shop, which is uh, Spartan Arms, you know, we saw a little bit of a spurt of things kind of coming back there and then it was almost immediately gone again. So there was like this short two week hiatus of the you know stuff being gone. So anyway, um, again, I know it's just a quick impromptu video, but I, I am curious uh, what you guys think about uh, inventory coming back, if it will or not. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Uh, check me out. I'm over at the new uh, Parlor app, uh, which is actually pretty cool. It's kind of like a Facebook, except that they promote free speech. So there's you're not going to get censored like you are on like Facebook and Instagram and stuff. So check me out over at Parlor at the Daily Shooter, and uh, follow me over there because I have a feeling if uh, you know if things go south, that might be our only bastion of hope. So. I uh, want to thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.